Hello everyone, I welcome you in the virtual classroom of managerial economics. In last lecture, we have discussed about other methods of demand forecasting and under the category of other methods, we had discussed two methods which were controlled experiment and test marketing and in today's lecture, we will discuss another two methods under the category of other method which are economic indicator method and barometric method now let us discuss with the economic indicator method the name itself suggests that here in this method we are using indicators see which are indicators you must have heard the word indicator in vehicles you know while driving the vehicles we are using indicator just to show people behind us that in which direction we are going and on the basis of direction in which we are going other people who are lagging behind us will take decision in which direction they should go it means suppose we are moving in a right direction then we will press right indicator yes or no after pressing right indicator the people who are behind us will come to know that we will turn around the right side so he need to go to the left side so what is the use of indicator the indicator gives guidance to the people that in which direction they should move now the same case happen with the organization when organization does the business, they are operating in a market. Simultaneously with the firm, other factors also operate in the market and on the movement of that factor, a firm will decide in which direction they should go. As these factors are operating in market, these factors are known as economic indicator. Got it? why we are using economic indicator to know what trend will come in our future getting it now let us see what is written here it uses the most reliable indicator for forecasting the demand for the product concern see what we are doing in this method we are choosing one of the indicator which will help us to know what will be the demand of our product in our future for example the most trustworthy indicator for predicting the demand for walking stick or denture is the relative rise in the percentage of old people in the population and so on see what example is given here that suppose you are a producer of walking stick what is walking stick it is a stick a wooden stick used by the old age people to support them in walking and what is denture denture is a fake teeth you know old age people do not have the original teeth and due to that reason they are using denture so both of this product walking stick and denture is a product used by old age people now suppose you want to know the demand of walking stick or denture then you should focus on how many old age people are there in a population. If the old people is increasing in a population then definitely these two products demand will be increasing. Getting it? Now let us take another example. Suppose you are a baby product producer like Johnson & Johnson baby. What they are producing? Baby oil is there, then baby shop is there and other items which is used for the babies only. Now suppose they want to know the demand in a market. What is the indicator that will help them? It is a birth ratio. You know, on the basis of birth ratio, they will come to know how many babies will born in a market. On and that on that basis, they will decide whether demand will increase or decrease. So, on what basis a firm is taking decision? On the basis of factors which are available in our market, and this factor in this method we are terming them as a indicator. Getting it? Now, let us take another example. Suppose you are a stationary producer, then what will be the correct indicator for you? It will be the number of students in a population. 
yes or no if number of students will be increasing if the educational institutions are increasing then on that basis you come to know that stationary's demand will definitely increase getting it so here we are predicting our demand for the future on the basis of indicators which are available in our market sometimes indicator says that demand will increase and sometimes they say that demand will decrease next slide is written here here the firm is not researching but they are only using indicator as a secondary data yes definitely see in controlled experiment we were doing research in test marketing we were doing research but in economic indicator we are not doing research we are not hiring researcher but we are just using a secondary data what is secondary data secondary data simply means a data which is collected by someone else and we are using it if you are doing research then that data the data that you will collect that data will be known as a primary data why because it is collected by you yourself but what is secondary data secondary data are those data which is collected by someone else say for example if you are a baby product producer then you are using the indicator which is birth ratio definitely birth ratio is not the research that is done by your firm it will be done by government and the research result will be published in one of the journal and from that journal you are picking up what is a birth ratio so that data is known as a secondary data so what we are doing in economic indicator method we are not using primary data but we are using secondary data now let us see the advantage of this method this method needs less effort yes definitely as compared to research uh, like controlled experiment and test marketing in this method we are not doing any kind of research so no efforts at all are required only less effort efforts regarding searching the indicator is required other other efforts are not required for using this method secondly it is time saving yes once you are available with the indicator once you are available with the direction in which indicator is moving you can take decision within a four wall of your office so it is a time saving unlike test marketing where you need to research continuously for two to six months here a decision can be taken within one or two days so this method is definitely a time saving method thirdly this method is less costly why less costly because we are using secondary data and secondary data is always free of charge you need not to incur any kind of cost for using secondary data the cost is always incurred for gathering primary data and this method is not at all using primary data means we are not at all incurring any kind of cost for do using the method economic indicator S with a single penny without spending a single penny you can forecast your demand on the basis of economic indicator method that is why this method is less costly adding it there are only three advantages of this method and now we are moving towards the disadvantage of this method the first disadvantage is this method is not useful for launching a new product yes definitely because for launching a new product a uh, kind of indicator will not be available and sometimes you don't know that which indicator affect your product because new product means new experience means there is no past experience no your past knowledge will be helpful in launching a new product so if you want to launch a new product economic indicator method is not at all useful you should go for controlled experiment or a test marketing while launching a new product but for existing product you can use economic indicator method second disadvantage is we can't get accurate answer sometimes indicators are not available 
why we can't get accurate answer because indicators itself is not available you know suppose you are a producer of a furniture then what indicator will you use you don't know you might be confused that whether indicator is available or not and if it is available then how i come to know that this indicator is for my product yeah so no so sometimes indicators are not aware available and sometimes the businessman is not aware about the indicator so in that situation they cannot get accurate answer you know even after availability of indicator you cannot precisely predict that what will be the demand say for example you are a producer of walking stick and your correct indicator is old age population that is true but it may happen that even after come to know that what increase or decrease is there in a old age population it doesn't have a direct relation with a walking stick some people some old age people are using walking stick and some are not using so indicator is just give you direction whether demand will increase or decrease but how much increase or how much decrease that cannot be said by in economic indicator so we cannot get accurate answer the third one sometimes multiple indicators are available so it is confusing yes sometimes what happen that no indicator is available and in reverse situation sometimes so many indicators are available that you get confused that on which indicator you should trust take an example of stationery i have also given this example earlier also but i am repeating again stationery is not the only product which is used by the student stationery can be used for the office work as well stationery can be used for household purpose as well no doubt the proportion of usage will vary from one work to another work for, for household work there will be a least stationery required and for office work more stationery is required but you just imagine how many indica- indicators we have find out one is a number of offices second is number of educational institution and third one is number of household on that basis on which indicator you should rely or whether you should add up all the indicators and if you will go for adding all the indicators you just imagine what will be the figure of the product what will be the figure of the demand can you rely on that figure there is again a question mark so what happen when multiple indicators are available that they it will result into a confusing task it will be totally confusing matter then fourth disadvantage is difficulty lies in choosing the indicator yes if we are having so many indicator then which indicator to choose that is again a question mark say for example again if you are a stationary producer then whether to rely only on a number of students or to rely only on number of business houses that is a question mark yes or no so which indicator to choose that is a difficulty then next one sometimes enough time is not available to adjust with the situation i can say this is the biggest limitation of this method see what happens when we are using indicator while driving a vehicle you must have seen some of the people who are giving less time you know just imagine you want to take a right side turn and just be for few seconds you mean 2 to 5 second if you are pressing right indicator will it give time to the people behind you to adjust not at all they may be going fast and which results into accident getting it why accident occurs because there was no time to do adjustment there was no time to make any kind of modification so is the case with business houses sometimes indicators are so sudden that it doesn't give time to the owner it doesn't give time to the businessman to make any kind of adjustment with the upcoming trend in a demand getting it so this is all about economic indicator and now